Slip editing is a concept that's a little hard to explain without using some kind of analogy. Now the best way I can explain it is that you have two sheets of paper. You have a blue sheet of paper covered by a red sheet of paper. And the other sheet, the blue sheet, you simply slide underneath the other sheet to get to the footage that you want to show. So as I said before, it's hard to explain. But the, the point of it, the slip editing is that your footage remains intact and you're literally sliding the frames around to get the playback that you want. Now let me go ahead and just show you real fast what I'm talking about. If you want to follow along by the way, just go ahead and open up the uh, everest.mov that you'll find in your work files folder. Now as you can see here, I have my footage that starts on this frame. And the reason I moved this over is to show you that when I click in front of this footage, I get a double sided arrow. And I can click and drag to kind of edit away that piece of footage. But this part here, as you can see when I move my current time indicator, no longer plays. But the footage is still there. Now what we can do is we can move the footage like so around under this footage, which is why it's called slip editing. We're taking the playback and we're slipping it under here to show when we want the footage to play back. Now to really show you what this does here, I'm going to take this current time indicator and put it at the start of the footage like so. And then I'm going to grab this footage now and I can click anywhere in this little lighter shade of this color and when I click and drag it plays back. So what I can in effect do is I can determine where I want this footage to start playing. This could be the beginning of this clip but I really don't want to see this here Instead, I want to see something underneath it. So I could say to myself, I'd rather this clip start here or here or wherever I want it to start from. So I'm literally slipping this footage around. And you'll notice that the footage is also behind here as well. So I can also choose, if I want to, where it ends the playback. So I, I might want her to, to look at the camera like this on this particular frame, and this is where it will end. But this part won't play. So I'm not cutting the footage in any way. I'm literally using this bar here as kind of like a bridge and this footage is like water that I'm moving under the bridge to choose where I want it to start to play. So even though I gave an analogy, I think I kind of messed it up because it didn't really make sense to me either. But as you can see, it's a, it's a difficult concept. Now, the cool thing about this is that with a video, you receive this lighter shade of whatever color you've chosen as your layer. For example, I'll change the color of this layer to, let's say, red. So I have this red bar, and I have a lighter red underneath it. So no matter what color I choose, I'll see a lighter shade. And I know that that's the footage that I can slip under this footage here. Pictures, on the other hand, and this is a picture of Hannibal that we've seen before, will not do that. So I can, I can edit this footage, and I can make it shorter or longer. Well, of course, if I make it shorter, I can make it longer here, but I really can't extend it. I can do the same thing, but I don't receive that lighter shade because I can, I can only move an image as far as where it starts to playback. I can't slide anything because it's a still image. So the best way to really experience this and understand it, of course, is to open up the footage and then literally just take the first part of it called the head or the tail of the footage and collapse it or expand it and then grab the lighter bar and then slide it like so and so you can see what's happening. So that is an example of slip editing.